What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Brookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, Aside from those along our path. Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them.
should ask Serona at the Three Brooms thing. She was talking. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. I hope you will come and see me. Hogsmeade, here I come. Once you have completed the tasks I've set for you, I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. <laughs> We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell.
Who lived here, I wonder? Not sure how I'd fare in it. Pippin should have been here by now. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. I'd rather not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it.
Incendio. Incendio. Couldn't break up. Expelling armors. Expelling armors. Couldn't break up. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Good for your Expelling all this. Revelio. Good for you. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Revelio.
Wonder where they're off to. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. looking for today thanks for stopping by hope to see you again
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. Rebellion.
here. Brilliant. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. There you go. Catching on quickly. I think it's learned it. But do continue to practice as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool. I should dismount here. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. 
A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. That was one for the ages. Try to beat that. Akio. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio. All in the wrist. Eh, lucky shot. Hmm, <laughs> tie game. At least you didn't beat me. We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. I've seen worse. Akio. Try to beat that. One for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Wait, did I win? I won! We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Didn't think you were a match for me. Akio. Nothing to it. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. That was.
was one for the ages. Rebellio. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Akio. I've seen worse. Akio. All in the wrist. Didn't think you were a match for me. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Glaciers. Good freedom. Expelliarmus. Akio. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Try to beat that. Akio! Was one for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. Eh, lucky shot. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested, and that you passed. <laughs>